Ah, through a haze of Dominican smoke, we come to you from Two Hands and a Face Audio, where we review musical products and give you the most honest possible assessment. On this occasion, we're having a hard look at another product from the Lounsbury line of offerings. I've come to respect Greg Lounsbury and his tone kingship a great deal. We are looking at, in this particular case, the Mo bass pedal, a beautiful little blue speckled uh, bass pedal preamp, essentially, with lovely artwork. I encourage you to take a hard look whenever you have opportunity, not to mention a very close listen. Let me demonstrate for you the sound of my bass clean, unaffected, and I'm using very simple gear here, this wonderful Schecter C4 bass through an Ampeg BA210 bass amp. It's about 450 watts. Uh, very stock gear, but very wonderful sounding, reliable gear. Here's my basic clean tone. Nothing too fancy, nothing particularly sparkling. Uh, a decent quality tone, recordable tone. I've got the Mo bass set at relatively low settings. Again, the controls are, are straightforward and simple. On off featuring true, completely true bypass. When it's clean, it's clean. And we've got uh, a drive function that elevates and lowers the amount of distortion we're adding to the signal. And of course, an overall level or volume control for the output of the device. So I'm gonna kick it in on low settings here. We're at about nine o'clock on both drive and uh, level controls. So again, now with the Mo bass. So right off the bat, we get kind of a very, very touch sensitive grind or light distortion, very pleasing to the ear. You can back off and have it as clean as you would like. You can dig in a little harder and get a little bit of that grind going. Not to mention the fact that it adds some beautiful overtones to the sound. Some It puts a little bit of sparkle on it. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's hit it again. Nicely done Mo bass. Let's kick it up a little bit. I'm going to increase both the output volume control or the level control and the distortion amount of the drive control to about 10 o'clock. And let's see what we get here. depending on your attack. Get a good little piece of distortion out of that. I'm liking the character of this pedal. This is something that I would use live or to record, but especially live to completely replace any kind of a preamp device I was using. It's ultra compact, it's completely uh, analog. There are no microprocessors in the signal path. No microprocessors were harmed in the making of this device. But who cares anyway? We hate microprocessors in the signal path. So we get a nice, clean analog path here. And it gives us a nice little growl on the low end. I'm going to kick up the output volume control to about 11 o'clock, and I'm going to turn the drive control up to around noon. And let's see what we've got here. Let's contrast that with the clean sound. And again, with the Mo bass engaged just about halfway up. Nice growl. Nice, nice growl we're getting into there. 
Let's put it up over the top a little bit towards the one o'clock position. And let's see how much distortion we can reasonably get out of this thing. That is a nice, nice rock and roll, classic bass rock tone. So we get a lot of nice pretty overtones out of it. It gives some sparkle to the sound and it gives a nice boost just on the clean edge of things. If we want to roll the controls back to around the 10 o'clock mark, it just gives us a nice kick to the sound. And here's that same thing clean. And with the Mo bass, I like it. I like it a great deal. I recommend that you have a look, have a gander, get one for yourself. They are completely boutique, handmade, custom-made pedals, zero microprocessors in the signal path, made by Greg Lounsbury somewhere in the eastern half of the United States, and check one out for yourself. Through a haze of smoke or not.